According to the United Nations, the human population is projected to reach 9.7 billion people by 2050, requiring a 70% increase of global food production. While this may seem like an impossibly large task, there are many organizations trying to find viable solutions, including the University of Miami Experimental Hatchery, or UMEH. One of the most advanced experimental aquaculture facilities in the world, UMEH hopes to find ways to mass-produce protein for future generations. We have a strong tie with the private sector, which definitely helps a lot in developing new technologies or working with different species. Uh, at this point, we're the only facility literally in the world hunting, hatching, and raising mahi. So that's pretty cool. It's a challenging fish, but there's a lot that we can learn from mahi-mahi. When I talk to people about aquaculture, they kind of always criticize the same few points. I just hope that the broader public is able to accept more aquaculture. Growing fish is much more environmentally friendly than a lot of these land-based proteins. For every pound of food that I give the fish, I'm getting a lot more product out. Aquaculture and farming fish in general. You know, as the techniques and technologies improve, that's going to be the best way to keep being able to feed people. This is Veronica Lucchese. Thanks for tuning in. To